In the previous video, we started talking about high-impact situations and how to approach them. Our main point was that we need to look at the potential harm of the situation in addition to the maximum utility value. If the harm could be significant, we should actively try to avoid that situation or decision. This idea seems simple in theory, but gets trickier in practice. Many high-impact events do not happen as a direct result of a specific decision, but rather they happen randomly. Therefore, we need to dig a little deeper to figure out how to deal with them. Nassim Taleb discusses these methods in two of his books, Black Swan and Anti-Fragile, which I highly recommend reading in addition to this course. Let's start with an example. Consider two people, John and Bob. They both live the same distance from their jobs. John is a very careful driver and spends a total of one hour driving and from work every day. On the other hand, Bob drives very fast and can make a round trip to and from work in 45 minutes. Bob says he's very efficient because he saves 15 minutes a day, which adds up over time. But Bob is forgetting a huge issue here. The faster he drives, his chances of being in a serious accident increase. This would be a high impact event because he could either be killed or seriously injured, which of course would affect the rest of his life. Bob sees the benefits of driving faster immediately. He saves 15 minutes each day. John, though, might think he is losing 15 minutes a day by comparing himself to Bob. This is a narrow way of thinking. By trying to be more efficient, Bob is seriously increasing the risk of a much worse event than spending an hour driving every day. This event may not happen right away, but if Bob continues his driving this way, his chances of getting injured increase considerably. The main point here is that the benefits to driving fast are immediate and obvious, while the risks are less obvious and may take longer to observe. Now, the issue of safe driving is one that we are all aware of, so it is relatively easy for us to see the flaws and risks in Bob's decision to drive fast. However, in many situations in life, it is much harder to tell when a situation poses a serious threat, while it can be very easy to see the benefits. There are many high impact events that could potentially occur in our lives, some positive and some negative. We want to look at strategies that can help us decrease our exposure to the negative high impact events and hopefully increase our exposure to the positive ones. These strategies and concepts are not always obvious, so we'll need to dig a little deeper and look at some more examples in the upcoming videos. Thank you for watching.